what's up YouTube fan? Brandon Weaver here once again and we're getting your credit straight. You stumbled upon this channel and you want to get your credit up, you want to get your scores up, well good for you man. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications we're about to get into it. Yes, I got my notes, okay? Jerome, my cameraman, you need to sit down, alright? I got my notes. There is no cameraman, alright? There's no Jerome, alright? I'll be playing with Jerome. Jerome! Everybody knows you ain't real. All right, sit down, man. All right, let's get to it. No more shucking and jiving. No more playing no games. I want y'all to enjoy yourselves here. I hope you enjoy yourself, so enjoy yourself. Hit that like button. All right, so people will be asking questions. They'll be like, Brandon, how you get off the eviction? How you get off the repos? How you get off this stuff? All right, we're going to do a credit repair walkthrough real quick right here for free on the YouTube to help y'all out, okay? So I got something from Miss Garvin, okay? Hey, Brandon, I'm looking through the docs below. How do you remove the eviction part? Is it in the letters? Where is it? I love your system, and I would love to be able to remove this eviction. All right? How do I remove an eviction? So, all right, so let's get down to it. All right? This is the process. I'm removing an eviction. I'm gonna put that over there, Jerome. All right, get the, get the notes, Jerome. How do you remove an eviction? How do you remove anything from the credit report? How do you make sure that you are pressing them to abide by the law so they don't violate your rights? Okay, so this is how it works with most of the disputing process, okay? Everything is different. So if you come to us and you get a 609 credit repair letters, all right, and you get the email support with us, we can support you. If you go with the Awesome Life Group, my company, the Awesome Life Group LLC, and we do it for you, we do it for you and we find all these violations for you, okay? so. The idea is to send a round one, round one, one, round one is round one. You dispute. What I like to do is send the validation letter right to the collectors as well. Two pronged approach to see if they're going to violate your rights. It's see if they're going to stop the collection process during their internal investigation or if they're going to go ahead and tell the credit bureaus that they verified or they can use the e Oscar system and say it's verified because that's not a full blown investigation, right? Okay, so you send the dispute. They come back, quote unquote, deleted or quote unquote, verified or quote unquote, updated or quote unquote, not coming back, right? And they don't come back at all. So, they don't come back at all. You send the non response letters to the collectors and to the credit bureaus, all right? You also can send a method of verification letter to the bureaus, okay? And this is all outlined for you at 609creditpair.com. So, you send the letter of verification, excuse me, the method of verification letter to the bureaus and you send the second round validation letter or non-response letter to the collectors, all right? Now, you stitch them up. How do they, how do they verify it? This works with evictions, but we're gonna get to evictions on how to specifically do that process. You see, there's a due process for everything. There's a specific process. You can get the email support with me. You can write your comments. You can hit the bell for notifications to ask me when you go live, when I go live, and y'all go live, when we're on live together. And you can get this stuff knocked out. Now, after that, You've already demanded that everything be deleted if it is not 100% accurate for the Fair Credit Reporting Act, if they can't provide verification, that kind of stuff. You're allowed to do that. That's your rights. Okay, that allowed, has allowed you to do it. I've heard from lawyers. I've heard from lawyers. I've had lawyers. I've learned from them. Okay? You're allowed to do that. Now, your next letter will be a demand or getting ready to become litigious, okay, with both of them. Same idea, boom, boom, back and forth. And you built your case, they haven't verified anything, everything's been certified, notarized, that kind of stuff. The final round, okay, you got your CFPB, you got your FTC, you've got your Better Business Bureau's AGs, let's say you can complain, you get yourself a lawyer, you can take them to court, you can do it yourself, okay? A lot of times, small claims court, you go yourself, okay? But I've had customers and consumers and people who we have helped and clients who will just consult with a lawyer, get a free consultation, or talk to free credit lawyer, okay? Free credit lawyers, freecreditlawyer.com, okay? They can help you out if there's violations. There are people, I've had uh, lawyers reach out to me and say, hey, if you see any Fair Debt Collection Practices Act violations, Fair Credit Reporting Act violations, let us know, okay? We'll take them to court, all right? Make some money. There have been settlements for people, big settlements for people. I'm not saying you get big settlements, okay, I can't say that, okay? But every violation could be a thousand bucks in your pocket, okay? So that's the breakdown. Now how you do that on eviction, all right? We have to know specifically where evictions are stored and we know because you're hitting the subscribe button, you're watching these videos over and over and over again to get your repair on, all right? CoreLogic holds them as well as LexisNexis, 
Okay, you can find them there. Sometimes you'll see them at Sage Stream and Innovis as well. These smaller bureaus are supporting the bigger bureaus. That's how they're making money. They're collecting data. They're selling it all over the place. They're selling it to whomever they can make money off of the highest bidder, all right? So you go through that process that I just broke down for you and those bureaus, all right? Anything that is inaccurate, okay? This is what the problem can be. Sometimes people are getting evictions when it's just late payments. Sometimes there's evictions, but the time is wrong on there, the amount owed is wrong, they're not supposed to be putting certain fees and interest on there if you didn't sign an agreement to allow them to do so, all right? There's all sorts of ways to go about this removing eviction. Now remember, you wanna use certified letters through the mail. Make sure, make sure, make sure. Some individuals have gotten quote unquote evictions just for leaving early and I got an email from an individual who had to get, look into the service members credit uh, act, the, the SCRA, okay, for service members, for the, for, for people like myself as well, for veterans and for current service members who are moving from different locations, they can't be prosecuted against or, you know, they, that's prejudice, prejudicial. They have orders to go to other bases or other locations, deployments, okay? And they can't be stitched up in these leases, so they gotta let them out. I know of somebody who's dealing with that right now, and it's classified as an eviction, and then it's 100% inaccurate. You can take them to court. This is the kind of stuff that gets reported, and it's reported incorrectly, and it's hurting people, and it, it is. It is hurting their character. You come up and you're just like, yeah, I'm, I'm a soldier, and I'm taking care of the business, and this, this, and this pop eviction pops up, what the heck? All right, I'm a businesswoman, I'm a businessman, I'm taking care of business, what, this eviction problem, this is not supposed to be there, so you can dispute. Now, if you need support with this, and you can email me, all right, you can email me, you can uh, hit the subscribe button, the, the bell for notification, next time we go live, we can talk about it, and I've got some other questions here as well. Now, someone asked me a question about someone else's credit repair company, Now I can't really, you know, answer questions about that, but they were saying, how do I get out, <laughs> how do I get out of, that credit repair company that's not doing me right. They don't feel like they're being done right. Probably the customer experience is not the good, the best, right? It's really about the customer experience. People want to get their credit repaired, but they also want to know that they're supported through the process, they're getting educated, they're getting talked to on the phone, they have a team member, they have somebody to talk to, they have an advocate, they have a champion, they have a credit repair specialist, they're for them. So how do you get out of it? It should be very simple. You shouldn't be in a contract, okay? Per the laws, per the fit, per the CROA, okay? CROA, you can look it up, C-R-O-A, for all the credit repair companies. You can look that up. They're not supposed to put you in long-term contracts, okay? I think the most they're allowed to do, is, well, you, again, I can't talk about someone else's business. You have, in each state has slightly varying things that allow them to do this. But they shouldn't really have you, with us, we're month to month. And that's something that I think that I have left out, is that our company at the Awesome Life Group LLC, if you come on board with us, we're a month to month company, okay? One month you don't wanna be with us, you can go ahead and cancel. You get the results you want, you can go ahead and cancel. All right, boom, I can get, get results quickly, boom, and I don't have to keep paying. Our job is to get you repaired as we can, as quickly as we can. We're not trying to drag it out. We want you to become business credit clients, trade line clients, okay? When we're going down the line and we're doing other avenues and things, all right, and I'm not, you know, we've got plans and I want to have plans and whatever we're doing, but, you know, what if we're doing investments or we're doing real estate or something like that? And we want you to be part of the awesome life, the awesome life, right? You want an awesome life. So we want people to be happy. So if somebody's doing you wrong in another credit repair company and you don't feel comfortable, you should be able to get out without a problem. And if they're trying to go through some sales script or retention script or all this stuff, that's nonsense. For us, if you're not happy, we try to rectify it and we move on and we try to get you the help that you need. That's what I'm talking about. We want you to get help. We want to get you help, help, help. Again, month to month, usually month to month. All right, now, I got a question. Y'all know I said never pay debt collectors, don't be paying these debt collectors, but somebody been paying these debt collectors, okay? What if you already started paying the debt collector from last due student funds, last due student funds, school. You gotta be careful these schools, guys, getting trapped up in school. I've been paying a debt collector on my past due balance for attending college since 2011. I'm very sorry about that. Now, what you can do, Jerome, I'll put my notes over there, all right? What you can do is you can send a validation letter. Right now, yes, even if you're paying, right? Even if you're paying, I know you're scared. I know you think, well, I'm paying and they can verify and all this stuff, but maybe they don't have anything to 100% verify, all right? They're just gonna use your statements and that you're paying and you could be paying or someone else could be paying. Your family could be paying. Who knows who's paying, right? It's getting paid. 
but they need to have something on their end to prove 100%, okay? Same thing with the, right? Bureaus, right? Send those dispute letters in, where you can get where? 609creditpair.com, right? Put some pressure on them, see if they fold, they're gonna fold it, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay, you can email me. I know that was a comment on YouTube, so if you need to email me, you can email me. We can do it for you at the Awesome Life Group LLC, where we are month to month, no pressure, all right? All right, if this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up, like, comments, share, all right? Hit the bell for notifications, next time I go live, you get the notifications, all right? And until I see you in person, I will see you on the other side. Take care.